it, that's kind of cool opening, eh? This is Subterranea here on the Sega Genesis. Now for the first set stages, yeah, it's going to give you a mission briefing. So you got to use your attack chip, see if you can free the hostages, and destroy any aliens that get in the way. So basically, this is just a more action pad version of Asteroids. Let me down here, yeah! <laughs> now, yeah, it's definitely not your typical guns blazing sort of shooter. It's a bit more cerebral than that. It may seem simple enough, but it's anything but. <laughs> You can't be flying your jets all over the place and going crazy. Woo! Yeah, look at my firepower. Yeah, so you have to be careful about that. Make sure you collect the power up first, and then, yeah, you can destroy that. Be carefully navigate myself through this. Yeah. And crush these guys. <laughs> nope. Yeah, actually you can rescue him. Once you rescue all the POWs, you then come back here and escape. At the top left up there, that's my fuel. If it gets too low, yeah, I'm gonna explode. There we go. right there <laughs> yeah you gotta be very conservative in this game whoa <laughs> yeah where are you Rosie O'Donnell come on back here in certain stages you're just find the boss here you don't have to rescue like POWs or anything like that at other stages yeah you gotta do a search mission and all that shit yeah, if you just wait for a bit, you can get a much more powerful shot. Yeah, thankfully you can level up your guns here. Here I am at level 3, very powerful. Yeah, the green laser, that's good for, you know, woman on shit. But the blue one is the most powerful, and the red one is good for spread shot. No, just like zero wing and shit. I got more accurate control. All you have to do is move up and down, and I can go on this little gertie here. Right, so here we are in Crystal Mountains and whatever. <laughs> now here's where things really get confusing, at least to me. You have to do a ton of micromanaging bullshit. You gotta line up these deflectors here, you gotta destroy certain enemies, you gotta destroy certain shields, it can get very confusing. <laughs> so I had to do four things in this level all together. And I'm already being attacked. You find all the missing parts and shit. Yeah, return to base. Hopefully you have enough fucking fuel. <laughs> shit. I know I'm low. It's a tough game, but give it a chance. Okay. And now I'm gonna gently land back on base and complete the level. Oh yeah. Yeah, you have some above average graphics, some cool music here and there. But when you reach up to the sea levels, yeah, level 7, 8, and 9, yeah, you don't get this nifty little radar and mission briefing. Nope, you're on your fucking own. <laughs> Even on the easiest difficulty, this game is hard. It's a tough game, but give it a chance. 
Subterranea here or whatever the hell it's called. <laughs> it earns a 70 out of 100. Very awkward controls, you know, very strict time limits. I highly recommend checking out some walkthroughs before you actually try this game because, yeah, some of it can be pretty cryptic. But give it a chance, it's still a very good action game with some excellent graphics and music. Alright, and that's it for me. This is Airzone World Heavyweight Champion, over and out. Shit! <laughs> Hit the wrong button.